I'm gonna show you how to batch edit pictures from your phone to get that nice crisp white background for your pictures, get them onto Poshmark and drafted in under a minute using an app called Photo Room. Don't believe me? Watch. If you want to learn how I did that using the Photo Room app, stay tuned. Won't nobody love you the way they should. Won't nobody check up on you, make sure you're good. Won't nobody check those body cameras by your neck. Hi everyone, my name is Becky Park and I'm a part-time reseller which means that I buy clothes from various places for as cheap as I can and then I resell them on reselling platforms such as eBay, Poshmark, Mercari, etc. And one of the things that I try to do for my reselling business is take the best pictures that I can so that they stand out when people are looking online and trying to find something to purchase. My item looks clean, it looks bright, there isn't anything distracting around the clothes like an outlet or the weird gross carpet or like your bed or something like that and in the past I came up with a really great system on how to get that crisp white background that I was looking for by using a few different apps using the photo editor on my phone and it worked but it took a long time I do have a video about how I did that using a few different tools that I can link right here for you but then I discovered an app called photo room and what i love about this app is that it cut down the amount of time that i needed to spend on editing my pictures in order to get that crisp white background by like 90 percent i want to say like by so much not even by half but by a ridiculous amount and the best part of photo room is that before with my old method i had to use a few different apps so that i could get the final result that i wanted but i have since then discovered that photo room can do all of those things in just the one app you saw a little bit earlier how i was able to get those nine pictures from my phone edited and onto poshmark and drafted in under a minute but now let's break it down i'm gonna go ahead and and edit another series of photos for another piece of clothing so that you can see just how simple it is, but also get some insight as to how it's done. All right, so we are going to edit some pictures together and get them uploaded to Poshmark, and I'm gonna talk you through how to do it and show you just how simple it is. So we start by pressing start from photo, and probably the part of this that takes the longest is just finding the photos in your photo roll, because if you are a reseller like me, you have bazillions of pictures of random clothes on your phone. I think we're almost there. Okay, here we go. So if you see the dress in the middle with kind of like blue and white tie-dye, it's a maxi dress. You can see that in the frame, there's not only the dress, but there's also shadows from the dress. There's also a nightlight. There's also a couch and a fan. There is just so much going on. And so if I were to upload this to my reselling platforms as is, I feel like the picture just looks kind of messy. And I personally, as a buyer, feel like I would just skim right over this because it doesn't look appealing. So what we're going to do is we want to batch edit which we can only do with the pro version and if you look at the top left hand corner of my screen there is an icon for multiple pictures so i'm going to click on that and now i can select as many pictures at one time as i want i'm just going to pick the pictures for this particular listing and you'll see why in a moment i like to select the pictures in the order that i want them to show up in my listing just because it makes things a little bit easier later so i think this is the first one here's the back here are other pictures of the garment itself and then i'll do like the tag and the inner tags with like the care instructions and stuff and then i'll end with measurements next i will press next at the bottom and you're going to watch it do its magic 
voila, within seconds, it got rid of all of that mess in the background. So now what you do is you select the template that you want and you can see there are a bunch of different options. But for me, because of where I sell, I sell on platforms like Poshmark and eBay. I think it's best to keep a really simple background, but if I wanted to, I could do some of these really cool ones. Like this Valentine's Day one is really pretty. Um, I could do, you know, if I wanted to have text going across it says new dress they have a bunch of these templates just for people who sell on Poshmark but again I want mine to just stay really clean and simple um, another thing that I wanted to show you though is that within their classics they have this black template and I really love that for like white clothes obviously if you have white on like a crisp white background the item kind of gets lost for that reason I have been photographing my items that are hard to photograph on white, I've been photographing them on a blue wall, but this would make things so much easier so that I don't have to have two stations where I photograph now. Instead, I could just photograph it wherever and then just put a black background to it. Amazing. Um, the other thing that I'll show you really quickly is if you select this template right here, that will actually make the background transparent, which is really helpful for things like creating YouTube thumbnails or creating Instagram content. So already I can tell you that for me personally, there are at least three templates that I will be using pretty frequently for different reasons. And I love that I can do all of that here on photo room without having to go to any other apps so anyway you'll see a bunch of different templates and i'm going to go ahead and select the classic template just the white background and all you have to do now is at the very top you just press on the top right corner where it says zero out of nine and then next you just press next if you're okay with what you see in front of you i'm totally okay with what i see so i'm going to press next um, i'm good with what i see there i'm going to press next I'm good with what I see there. You can still see my hand, but that's okay. Um, I'm totally okay with that. And one other thing that I'll show you is if you look at the bottom, they have a few options for different things that you can do to edit your picture even more. They have this light on feature, which is basically like the lights on feature of PicTap Go that I used to use. And I no longer have to use PicTap Go because of that light on feature. And if I want, like if I want it to be even brighter, I can go into adjust, I can select brightness, which, you know, it's at 10 right now because of that light on, but I can go ahead and lighten it even more if I want, or I can darken it. I'm just gonna leave it, well, I guess I'll leave it at 12 now. But I love that you can do a little bit more editing if you want to, but really it's pretty optimized the way that it is. And so I'm gonna keep pressing next. That looks great, the tag looks great. Just keep pressing next until you get to the end of all of your pictures. And once you do, you have the option to upload it. So again, if you look at the top right hand corner, you can see the upload icon. I'm gonna select that and this is what is so amazing about Photo Room. I love it when apps are one step ahead and actually thinking about the workflow of the user. So they know that there are a lot of people on Poshmark, for example. So they have the Poshmark camera as an option at the very bottom for you to select. If you wanna take these photos that you just edited and get them straight into Poshmark without even having to exit out of the Photo Room app genius. If you want to just save them to your photos, you can do that by pressing that icon there. So I'm going to go ahead and press Poshmark camera so you can see what that looks like. And now you can see that I'm in my Poshmark app. You can see what I'm seeing out of my camera. And all I have to do is go to the bottom left hand corner where that pictures icon is. I'm going to press on that. And at the very top are the pictures that I edited with photo room. So I just select them and they will insert them into this listing and I just have to list how amazing is that? So as you heard me say in both tutorial videos, I am using Photo Room Pro, which is an app that you do have to pay for. You can pay for it as a monthly subscription, which is $9.49, or you can pay for a year-long subscription for $69.99, which comes out to $5.83 a month. If you're anything like me, if you are a reseller, and especially if you're a part-time reseller with not a lot of time on your hands, you probably already have a lot of other subscriptions, and they're really kind of racking up, and you're asking yourself, do I want to add another subscription or another thing that I'm paying for all the time in order to do my reselling business. That really is up to you. I will say though, I know how much time I spend on trying to get that white background. I know how much time I was spending on each picture before, and I know how much time this saves me. At the end of the day, time 
is money. You can do a lot with the free version of Photo Room. You can do most of the things that I showed you in my tutorials, but let me go ahead and tell you what kinds of things only come with the Pro so that if Photo Room is an app that you wanna try, you can decide for yourself whether you wanna go with the free version or the Pro version. So even with the free version, they have a lot of templates that will allow you to get that white background or to get a transparent background, but all of the templates will come with a little watermark in the bottom left-hand corner that says Photo Room. Obviously, if you really wanted to, you could edit those out. But again, the amount of time that it takes to go into another app to delete the watermark is time. And right now in the season of life that I'm in, I'm personally all about trying to save as much time as possible. So I don't wanna have to go into another app after I'm done with Photo Room just to erase a watermark. So that's one of the things that's really nice about the pro version of Photo Room is that the watermark is not there. So you don't have to go through that unnecessary step. Another thing that only comes with the pro version of Photo Room is the ability to batch edit, which means you can edit multiple pictures at once, the way that you saw me do in both of the tutorial videos. Otherwise, you have to edit one picture at a time, which isn't horrible, but it does save time if you're able to select all of the photos for one garment or for whatever it is that you are trying to edit pictures for. And what you saw me do with those batch edited photos as well in both tutorials is you saw me export them directly from Photo Room to Poshmark without having to exit out of the Photo Room app. That to me is huge. That like really streamlined workflow from one app to another, it doesn't seem like it's a huge time saver, but it really is. And so I love that with the pro version, they'll take you straight to Poshmark with those pictures that you just edited, and you can go ahead and create a new listing with those pictures. That is unfortunately something that you cannot do with the free version. And the last thing that I love about the pro version versus the free version is that the pro version just has a lot more template options for you to use, which depending on what it is that you're using Photo Room for, perhaps you really want one of those templates that are not available to you if you're only on the free version. Version. If you are interested in trying out Photo Room for yourself, I do have a link down below that you can use. It is an affiliate code, which means that I get a little bit of a kickback for explaining Photo Room to you and kind of showing you its features. But if you don't want to use my affiliate link, that's totally fine too. You can just go to the App Store and download it yourself without using my affiliate link. I don't really care. I just wanted to make sure that I told you about this amazing app that really, guys, has helped me reclaim so much of my time. If you enjoy tips about reselling, then definitely consider subscribing to my channel because I do a lot of these kinds of tips videos or reviews on products or apps. I also do what sold videos and thrift hauls and stuff like that. So if that sounds interesting to you, I'd really love it if you'd consider subscribing to my channel. And if you feel like you learned something valuable in this video, please hit that like button on your way out. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye.